Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, it's that time of year when I get older again. I keep telling everybody I don't want to have any more birthdays, but for some reason they just won't quit. So, wifey had a surprise party for me and she got me good because it's uh, like two weeks before my birthday, so I'm not even thinking about it. And one of the boys asked me to go with them someplace, so they distracted me while she was getting the surprise party ready. And I had no idea. <laughs> so she got me good. And uh, <clears throat> the youngest grandson, which is three if, if I'm right, <laughs> um, his mom made me a nice cake. like three-tiered thing and I guess the night before he decided that uh, he wasn't gonna wait he was gonna have some cake and I guess he <laughs> plowed right down through the top of it <laughs> had a little bit of everything there was three different flavors there I guess so I didn't get the original cake I got a, a store-bought cake but it was good <laughs> But uh, always some memories made, I'll tell you. So, the youngest boy got me this for my birthday. He uh, seemed to think that my antique power supplies and soldering equipment wasn't up to snuff. And I don't know, we might not, might have to not have Papa Junk Shop anymore. It might have to be Papa Good Stuff Shop. I don't know. This keeps up. So, show you what he got me. Got me a new mat here for working. And uh, it's that silicone stuff. And it's got uh, spots where it's uh, magnetic. Oh, I guess that's, well, I think that's the one I'm missing. Yeah. Anyways, you can lay stuff in there. Guess it. That screw's too small. Anyways, got magnets there. Got some magnets on these trays and some along here. All these nice little spots. So, I don't know. Let's get it out of there. Ain't gonna do any good in the bag, huh? So, I guess. We'll move this to a new location. We'll put the new one right there. So, oh. in this box he got me a, I don't know what you call it, soldering station, power supply combination kind of thing. He opened it up to make sure it was alright, so, and I just opened the lid and looked in, and there's a lot of stuff in there, so, we'll go through it. So it's a, yeah, whatever that is, multi-function smart rework station. Alright, that's what it is, a rework station. It fits me, I'm always reworking something. So we got an operation, operation guidance. <laughs> Sounds like a government project, doesn't it? User-friendly user features, manual and automatic, Fahrenheit Celsius, sleep function, oh I guess some of them have it, some don't. What model is this one? This is a 853D. Okay, so this one doesn't sleep. Protection function for air gun and fan malfunction, digital temperature correction function. So, guess there must be some assembly instructions. Nozzle specifications must be for the 
heat gun and different soldering iron tips. Alright, so on with this. So, you know, let's get the loose stuff out first. So this must be the thing to park the soldering soldering iron in. And, uh, that must be to clean the clean the tip, so I won't. That's got a seal on it. I'll just leave that for now. That looks like that must mount on the. That looks like a tip cleaning sponge. Some solder wick. Some solder. Ooh, soldering tips. Pretty good selection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Where are some little teeny ones there? Oh, here's the different nozzles for the heat gun. A desoldering pump. Little pick. Must be the leads for the power supply. Well, they feel pretty nice. Seem nice and soft. Okay, this must be the soldering iron. Does it come with a tip? Yep. Probably the first thing I'll do is plug it in with that on there and melt it. Power cord. I know we're going to need that. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. And the heat gun. I guess it's permanently attached. So I Alright, so there's the front of her. So what do we got? Soldering station, apparently this oh this is the says air. It must be for this heat gun, how much air it blows, maybe? And we got uh, 0 to 15 volts to 2 amps, USB port, voltage control, output display test voltage, DC 50 volts. Hmm. Not sure I quite understand that. This must be temperature 
up and down for the solder station. This must be temperature set for this thing maybe? I don't know. What do we got? We got a fan on the back, a power switch, and a plug-in. So, okay. So, what do we got here? We got a couple of screws there. Holes over here. So they don't show you a picture of the thing anyway. It's kind of strange, isn't it? <clears throat> what do we got here? Be nice to have a picture or some instructions, wouldn't it? Oh well. Well, it looks like those holes line up there. And Phillips, let me grab a Phillips. Guess I'll come back out if they're not in the right spot. So, I would guess that's what that's for. So, you got all these holes over here. That's separate because it's got feet on it. So, maybe that's for one with the more accessories or something. Use the same case. So let's get her plugged in. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Looks like power is off in the front. So, grab the chair up here. So we got some blinking going on. Let me find something. Prop that up a little. Now we just throw a motor underneath there. There. All right. So you guys can see. So. Let's see, this is already plugged in, so let's play with this. That would be this one, I think. Yep, started blowing. Yeah, that's what that's for. So it's blowing air, apparently 212 degrees. I don't know if that's fair or high or Celsius. Let's see. See how far it goes. Eight ninety six. Now, so apparently it's getting up to where I just stopped. 
No. Yeah, she's red. Glowing red in there. I don't know if you can see it. And that's hot. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice for heat shrink and stuff. Turn it back down though. In case it comes on unexpectedly. Have <laughs> it down on something a little cooler. Okay, that's as low as it goes. So it's cooling down. So apparently there's a temperature sensor in here that senses that air temperature. All right. Okay, so now let's check out the soldering portion. I don't know, this is awful nice for my setup here. So the keys at the top, so it goes in like that. And I guess we'll get this out. <laughs> See what I mean? I almost did it, didn't I? Okay. So I wonder if that's what that's for, to park your tips in. Okay, so solder. Looks like it warms up pretty quick. That's 572 already. Yeah, melt solder. Wow. That's pretty quick. Alright, let's check out this and see. So it goes down to 392. Six. That's a little hot for soldering. <laughs> okay, so okay, we got an auto and manual switch here. I'm not sure what that's. Guess I'll have to look at the book. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, let's play with the power supply. Okay, so it says we got zero volts. Okay, let me get a light bulb here. I think I got my favorite light bulb here close by. Yeah, here we go. And so it's, we got test probes and no clips. That's kind of 
would be nice to have some clips, I would think. Oh yeah, I got this nice rack here. We'll just put them in one of those little trays. Okay, so... I guess I'll just wrap that one on there. I'm just going to hold that one on. And... <laughs> there. So starting white. So it says it goes to two amps. So we're going past two amps. So there's twelve volts. Two point zero two eight amps. Okay, so that works. So now let's see, I got my voltmeter laying right here. Let's see what this 50 amp test voltage thing is all about. Okay, so I it's going to be DC. Yeah, minus and plus. Now, can you guys see that? Okay, so there's nothing there. Push this switch. Got the draw bolts there. Then you turn that off and I do new. Guess I'll have to look at the instructions. So, until I read some more, I'm not going to be able to tell you much. Let me look real quick and see what it says. Anything. Kind of curious. Toggle the output and test switch at the front bottom right to the output side and adjust the knob to set voltage to desired designed value. Toggle the switch to test side to test for external DC voltage reading. Okay, so I see if you put this here and this here, you toggle that to that, then you can measure a voltage, I think. Let me grab a little battery. We got minus and minus and plus. No, not saying anything. <laughs> so 
Oh, I go over there. No. Don't know. No. <laughs> okay, Kevin. You guys laughing at me? I'm using my voltmeter instead of the probes for this. Oh my goodness. I am getting old. I shouldn't have any more birthdays, should I? Okay, there we go. So you can use this thing as like a voltmeter up to 50 volts, apparently. Hmm, pretty neat. And switch back and you're at your power supply. Okay. So, I think that's pretty straightforward, actually. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Shall we pull the cover off and look, see what's in there? Looks like there's uh, four screws here and four screws there. I think we should, don't you? Let's disconnect some of this stuff. And hook the cord. Okay. workspace just because I don't never clean up. I just keep making more messes. I got this nice little spot to put all the screws. It's got that fan on the back, but it never kicked on, so apparently you got to get her warmed up for it to come on. Let's see, what are the all this Chinese stuff they're saying? They're smart fans, intelligent fan, or something like that. In other words, it's got a thermostat on it. <laughs> It does look nicely done. Actually, quite a bit of stuff in there. Got some smart things here. <laughs> Bunch of turny things. <laughs> that must be a shunt. This must be the power supply section. Yeah, it looks like it goes back here to a power transistor. Yep, it's got the thermostat on it, so when that gets warm, that fan will come on. So I would think that that would handle a little more than 2 amps, but could be wrong. Might be limited by this transformer. Let's see, input, 120 volts. Output, 10, 0, 10, 20. 
30 volts, red to red. 26 volts, blue to blue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, all the all stuff looks pretty nice. Everything is solid. And of course, I can't see the back side of the boards, but anything that's all the soldering that you can see looks really nice. So, I think this will be a nice addition to the to that chair. So you guys have probably seen me using it. So if you enjoyed this little uh, unboxing and look see, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it wasn't completely over. I started reading a book a little bit. And so while I was doing that, I hooked that light bulb back up and it ran for about five minutes that the, the two amps and this fan did kick on. And I was reading about this uh, heat gun and when it's parked in there, it won't run. When you pick it up, it starts. put it back in there and it stops. So that's kind of nice. Um, other than that I haven't learned much more. But I was trying to figure out what this thing here does. And there's... <laughs> you guys probably can't see it. So get it out of there. Some of you know what it is, let me know, because it doesn't show up in any of the instructions. So, it's a little wire. Looks like so. And it looks like it would go right there. And it comes with a screw. It looks like it would attach to that. This being a handle, and I'm not sure, <laughs> sure what you'd use it for. So, if any of you know, let me know. So, uh, I guess if I learn more about it, uh, if you're watching any of my other videos, and uh, I'll, I'll show you some more stuff when I learn it myself. So. Okay, see you next time.